question two. U is the universal set, one, two, three, and all the way up to 12. P is the set of prime numbers less than 12. E is the set of even numbers less than 12. And O is the set of odd numbers less than 12. So A, represent these sets on the Venn diagram. So first of all, we're going to figure out your what and what set. So P is the first set we need to figure out. So P is the set of all prime numbers. Now, prime numbers have only two factors and two factors only, itself and one. So going through the list of numbers that are in our universal set, one to 12, we'll figure out which ones are prime. One, one is not a prime number because it has only one factor. Two is a prime number because it has only two factors, itself and one. Three is a prime number because it has only two factors, itself and one. Four is not a prime number because it has three factors. One, two, and four will all divide into four evenly. Five is a prime number because it has only two factors. Six is not a prime number because three will also and two will also divide into it. Seven is a prime number. Eight is not a prime number because four and two will divide into it. 9 is not a prime number because 3 will divide into it. 10 is not a prime number. 11 is a prime number and it's only two factors, itself and 1. So they are all the prime numbers that are less than 12. Our next set is E. E is the set of even numbers less than 12. So the even numbers are 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. We don't include 12 because it says less than 12. And O is the set of odd numbers less than 12. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11. Now we're going to fill them in. So we're going to start off with P. So 2 is the first one. So we look to see that in anything else, it's also in E. So P is, or sorry, 2 is in P and E, but not O. So P and E, but not O, is up here. So there's our two. Three. Three is in P and it's also in O. So P and O, but not E. So that's where our three is. Five is the same. It's in P and it's in O, but it's not in E. Seven is the same. And 11 is the same, it's in P and it's in O. Now we're going to move on to E. So 2 is already in for us. 4 is not in P or O. So we put it in here. 6 is not in P or O. 8 is not in P or O. And 10 is not in P or O. And then the last one, O. So 1 is just going to be in O, 9 is just in O, and 11 is already done. And then if we go up and look at our universal set, all of the numbers from 1 to 12, we will see that all of the numbers that are in there are part from one number, which is 12. So 12 does not occur in P, E, or O, so that means it must go on the outside of them. So it goes inside the universal box, but outside P, E, and O. Okay. 